Hey guys, it's Lena here. In this tutorial, I'm happy to introduce you to the AudioFuse X8in, an ADAT expander. We'll learn about what it is and how you would need one in your studio. AudioFuse X8in is an ADAT expander unit that enhances flexibility of your studio with premium line level connectivity, allowing you to expand the amount of inputs of your audio interface to eight inputs, as long as it has ADAT connectors. It measures a standard half rack size and is meant to be used alongside AudioFuse X8 unit, together measuring a standard 19-inch rack unit. Its height is a standard 1U. To use it, just connect AudioFuse X8 in to any ADAT-compatible audio interface via the ADAT cable and fulfill the needs of your growing studio without adding any complexity. AudioFuse X8in offers eight more AudioFuse range quality analog line level inputs, is easy to use and compatible with all ADAT equipped audio interfaces. If you are a musician or a producer who wants to record additional synths, drum machines that you normally keep unplugged, or finally introduce and make good use of a patch bay, X8in got you covered. AudioFuse X8in main feature is its set of AIM line level analog inputs. At the back, it offers eight TRS inputs to connect your line level instruments. They are offering the same specification and quality as AudioFuse 16 rig line level inputs. Frequency response is 20 Hz to 20 kHz, dynamic range is 118 decibels, while total harmonic distortion plus noise is minus 113 decibels. These inputs also come with a pad function, allowing you to lower the total decibel value to minus 12 decibels. AudioFuse X8 comes with ADAT outputs which allow you to connect X8 to your audio interface via ADAT cables. This is required in order for this device to work and to deliver more inputs to your audio interface. This interface has a pair of ADAT optical outputs on Toslink connectors. You can send out up to eight analog channels via the ADAT1 input if X8 is set to 48 kHz sample rate. And if you want to set higher sampling rate at 98 kHz, you then have to use both ADAT1 and ADAT2, as in this case channels 1 to 4 will go via ADAT1 and channels 5 to 8 will go via ADAT2 input. It's good to know that ADAT inputs are always synchronized to the chosen sync mode. You can choose the sync source on the front panel with the sync button. AudioFuse X8in also provides word clock input on male BNC connectors. This connector is needed in order to use the word clock function. This feature ensures synchronization stability when two devices are connected together to extend the range of outputs. It allows you to avoid latency of audio or audio glitches and clicks occurring while the signal is converted from analog to digital and flows between instrument, expander and the interface. Word clock input impedance 75 ohms or high Z can be set from the rear panel. Note that usually the 75 ohms option should only be engaged when the unit is set to sync to the external word clock, and it is the last device at the receiving end of a word clock cable. AudioFuse X8in front panel offers an on-off switch to turn the unit on and off, as well as sample rate, selection button, and sync selection button. There are also LEDs that allow you to monitor your input levels, as well as selector buttons that allow you to select a particular input and then use pad to decrease their decibel value, or link two mono channels into a one stereo channel. Selected channel turns its LED to white color, while activating pad turns the LED into deep blue. That's how you know which channel you are selecting and whether it has pad on or off. After three seconds of inactivity, LEDs turn back to indicate VU meter mode with colors green, orange, or red, representing the intensity of the signal with green being in a good area, while orange being close to clipping, and red meaning that the signal is clipping. A useful tip is that if you long press the pad button, it activates the pad on all channels. You can do the same to deactivate the pad on all channels too. 
The same goes for link. Long press of link button links all channels in groups of two. All channels LEDs will flash once to indicate this. It's also worth knowing that if one of the channels that becomes linked to another has a pad on, linking will activate the pad on the second channel too. Lastly, let's talk about the size of the unit. Audiofuse X8in is 1U in height and half of a standard 19-inch rack unit size. When combined with Audiofuse X8out or in, it can be put together to create a 19-inch rack unit. It comes with mountable rack parts so you can combine them together. These parts can be found on the unit itself. On each unit you will be able to find one rack ear and one metallic part to join and fix another unit. When you buy two units, you get exactly two rack ears and two fixing parts necessary to rack the unit. So that's a wrap up. Hopefully this shines a bit of light on the potential uses and benefits of having an X8 in expander unit. If you're in need of a few more high quality analog inputs, don't think twice. Thanks for watching and see you soon.